Tethered workflows offer many advantages when it comes to organizing and previewing your images while you work. Knowing your way around tethered capture within Capture One will greatly optimize your workflow. Any session will automatically have a default capture folder for new captures. If you are working on a project where multiple folders would make sense, you can simply create additional capture folders for a more efficient way of organizing. Any folder on your computer can be set as the capture folder, simply by right-clicking it and selecting it as capture folder. To name your images as they are captured, go to the next capture naming tool. Here you can choose dynamic tokens, which will automatically update the naming of the images as your shoot progresses. You can, for example, include the name of the project, the name of the capture folder, and date in the file name. This is especially useful when shooting multiple looks or many people in the same project. If you use a digit counter, you can reset it for each new project from the menu. Per default, all adjustments of the most recent captured image will be applied to the next image as it is shot. This behavior can be controlled from within Next Capture Adjustments. This enables you to make changes continuously to your images as you shoot. To reuse the setup of a session, you can save a session template. This makes capture folders, smart albums, naming conventions, among others, available with a few clicks when creating sessions in the future. Go to File, Save as Template. This template will be easily available when creating new sessions. The Focus tool offers a zoomed section of the image, enabling a quick way of checking focus, for example, the eyes of a model. The zoom level can be set anywhere between 25 to 400%. Like many tools in Capture One, you can drag the Focus tool out as a floating tool and resize if needed. An additional way of checking for focus is the focus mask. This will add an overlay to the image where it is in focus. The sensitivity of the focus mask can be changed from the preferences. The camera settings tool shows the connected camera's current settings. Available settings vary depending on the camera model. Search for settings for instant access. If you use two monitors in the studio, you can use the Dual Monitor Workspace. Go to Window, Workspace, Dual Monitor. This places a viewer on one monitor and all tools on the other monitor, allowing a flexible workflow. The interface in Capture One is highly customizable, allowing you to move tools and sections of the workspace around.